There is a spectrum of disease um, uh, related to the coronary arteries um, and the um, plaques uh, that develop, which are fatty material inside the wall of the artery, uh, tend to be fairly soft when they're new, uh, and over time, as we age, they become harder. In fact, when we try to uh, open some of these uh, plaques up, we never know um, when we see a narrowing of the artery if the plaque is going to be soft or if the plaque is going to be hard. Um, today we uh, know that we can further characterize plaques. Uh, some plaques are in fact uh, more likely to cause problems than others. Uh, we used to think that the plaques would grow and grow and grow and the artery would become more and more narrow and eventually it would block off and that's what would cause a heart attack. In point of fact, that's not true. Uh, the uh, plaques today that are the most dangerous are the ones that are most likely to rupture. That there is a uh, area of growth in the wall of the artery related to cholesterol and fatty material. Uh, and sometimes the skin that covers these plaques can rupture or split, just like the skin uh, um, uh, that you can see on, on your own skin. Uh, if it ruptures, if it cracks, then there is a he natural healing process that takes place. Um, the uh, process that happens inside the artery will cause a blood clot to form. And if the blood clot is big enough because it's inside of a closed pipe, it will actually clog up the pipe and that's what stops the blood flow. So the real plaques to worry about are the ones that are most likely to rupture or the plaques that are most likely to open or crack. Today there are some tests that help us decide which plaques are more likely to rupture uh, and which plaques are more likely to cause problems. It's not always the most severely blocked plaque that's going to cause the uh, uh, heart attack. Sometimes blockages of 40-50% when the plaque ruptures will actually cause the heart attack.